We're now going to go through the process for analysing a single counter movement jump using a previously saved data file. Depending on what data you are collecting, it's important to consider where you place your set points, as you will see in the following video. First, we open the BMS software. We select demonstration or data analysis as yes and click OK. This way, we do not need to have a force plate or XPV6 Plus connected to the unit. We then go to the Collect and Analyze window, click Open File, and select the file we want to open. This will bring up a window giving you information on the test that was conducted, the date, mass, sample frequency, and number of samples. You can see here that it also selects the athlete. We're now going to set the system mass by putting set point 2 on a flat portion of the graph and click Set is set the mass now. In the first instance we're going to be looking at forces and powers so it is critical that we remo remove the landing spike as shown here. So we put set point 2 just before the landing spike and we go to our results of data processing window and we'll uncheck everything except for the peak force, mean force, peak power and mean power. Once this is done, we'll go to the squad file and make sure we have the athlete who conducted the test selected. In this case, it was Mitch Alsop. We'll go back to the results of data processing window and click Save. We'll save the file out to our Excel spreadsheet. Here you can see the results that we've saved. Just expand the windows a bit so you can see the peak force, mean force, peak power and mean power. And also the complete athlete's name. So it has the load and the date stamp recorded there. We'll now go back to the original data set. And now we're going to move the line because we're going to be looking at jump heights and displacements and velocities as well as our eccentric and concentric times. So we'll uncheck peak force, mean force, peak power and mean power as now they are influenced by the landing spike and we'll select peak velocity, minimum velocity, peak displacement, minimum displacement and eccentric time, concentric time, eccentric concentric time, flight time and flight to contraction. Click on save. This will save that data out to Excel again. And this time we can see the other variables that we have saved.